Now to those stunning results for the Democrats overnight. Bernie Sanders with a big upset victory over Hillary Clinton in Michigan. All eyes turning to Ohio now where some of the next crucial votes will be cast. ABC's David Wright is in Cleveland and joins us from there this morning. Good morning, David. Good morning, Robin. Stunning is the word for it. Just as Hillary Clinton had been hoping to focus on the general election, Michigan voters have said not so fast. And now as the race turns here to Ohio and elsewhere, suddenly it's a jump ball. This morning, Michigan voters have thrown Bernie Sanders a lifeline. The political revolution that we are talking about is strong in every part of the country. And frankly, we believe that our strongest areas are yet to happen. Here in Cleveland, Hillary Clinton had planned for a victory party. Instead, it's Groundhog Day. Six more weeks of campaigning. This will be a busy week here in Ohio. Hours before the Michigan polls closed, Sanders himself didn't predict this. Do you expect to win Michigan? I will tell you that in about five or six hours. The polls Tuesday were still showing Clinton ahead by double digits. So later... But I just want to take this opportunity to thank the people of Michigan who kind of repudiated the polls. The Clinton campaign is now questioning whether attacking Ladies Sanders on the auto industry bailout may have backfired. I voted to save the auto industry. He voted against the money that ended up saving the auto industry. Technically, that's true, but Sanders supported the auto bailout. He only voted against the funding because the money was lumped in with the bailout of Wall Street banks. It's important to have trust with the American people. And if you say something that is not accurate, that long term is going to hurt you. You're saying she lied about your record. I'm saying that she distorted my record. The electorate here in Ohio looks an awful lot like Michigan, so expect this state to be a battleground. Meanwhile, tonight, the two Democrats meet in Miami for their second debate this week. A lot of voters will be tuning in with new interest. Robin? I bet they will, David. Thank you.